to another fantastic video only here in Toy Transformations. Today we have a super special video. We are going to transform Lil Sisters into all of the amazing characters from Super Monsters. We'll transform our Lil Sisters into Drac, Katya, Cleo, Lavo, Frankie, and Zoe. I'm sure that's going to be amazing. Come on, monsters up! Here is the first little sister. Let's remove the first layer to find our secret message. Let's see. This one means break dance. We are removing the second layer. Here we will find our collectible sticker. Let's see, let's see. Let's remove the layer. This one says that our little sister can change color. This is the last layer. We can finally open the bowl. Wow, it has so many things inside. Let's take it out and look, here's our catalog. I love all of the big and little sisters. Now let's open this blind bag. Oh, this one has a kitchen so we can carry our little sister with us everywhere. We are opening this blind bag now. And look, it's the accessory. We got a pair of golden headphones. And finally, here's our cute little sister. Look, we got little honey bun. She looks super cute. This is our last blind bag. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a cute clam flashback. <laughs> This is the second little sister bowl. Let's find out what secret message we got. Let's see. This one means diamonds are a girl's best friend. Do you think that's true? Now that we're removing the second layer, we can find a collectible sticker that tells us our little sister can change color. Finally, let's remove the third layer. Our bowl is free. Let's open it so we can find out what other things we got. Here's a catalog, but now let's open this blind bag. Oh, it's our little sister. I love her hair. Let's see, let's see. Here we have the keychain. This one is a cute pink one. Let's open this blind bag next. Let's see. Here we are going to find the accessory. Oh, it seems to be a really tiny one. Let's see. Oh, it's a cute bird color. It's so fancy. And now the last blind bag. Let's see what purse we got. So cute. <laughs> time to open the third little sister bowl. Let's find out what secret message we got this time. Um, the secret message is smart pants. Now let's remove the second layer. On this layer we can find our collectible sticker. This sticker tells us what our little sister can do. This one says it changes color. Let's remove the next and last layer. Let's take it all off. And now let's open the bowl. Look at everything that's inside. Let's open this blind bag now. Let's see. Oh, we got these super cute and nerdy black glasses. Um, look, we got this super cute and awesome black and white strip purse. It's time to discover our little sister. Let's open the blind bag now and look who we got. It's little teacher's pet. Okay, guys, are you ready for the next little sister? Okay, let's remove the first layer here and let's see what secret message we got. Um, look, this one means sweet or sour. I always choose sweet and you... Time to remove the second layer. What collectible sticker do you think we're gonna get? Well, let's find out. Um, this one says our little sister can change color. And finally, the last layer. Let's take it off so we can open the bowl. Uh, look, now let's open this blend bag. Let's see what's inside. It's a keychain. This one is green. Okay, I think this is the accessory. Oh, look, we got a pair of black shoes. Oh, it's a super cool black hat! So cute! Now, let's see the little sister. So, let's open the blind bag and... Look! We got Lil Fresh from the Opposites Club! This is our bowl number 5. Let's remove the first layer so we can read the secret message. Um, the secret message is... Cartoon! So funny! Now we can remove the second layer. Let's remove the zipper and then we are going to find the collectible sticker that says our little sister can change color. This is the last layer. Let's open the bowl. I love that it has so many bags inside. Let's open this blind bag now. Let's see. Here we have a beautiful pair of shiny sneakers. Look, we got this super duper cute seashell purse. I really like this one. And now let's see the keychain. This one is a green color. I like this color a lot. 
I wonder which little sister is inside this bag. Oh, we got Lil Bon Bon. She's super colorful and adorable. <laughs> This is the last little sister ball that we are going to open today. So let's see. The secret message is Snow Bunny. Oh, bunnies are so cute. We can now remove the second layer. Oh, uh, this one is a little bit stuck. Let's peel it off using all of our strength. And done. On this layer, we can find the collectible sticker that tells us our little sister can change color. That's awesome. <laughs> When we remove this layer, our ball is going to be free. And now let's open it. Look at all the blind bags. Let's see. Here is a keychain. It's a pink one. Now let's open this blind bag now. What are we going to get? Oh, it's a smartphone. On this blind bag, we are going to find the purse. I hope it's a cute one. Let's open it and wow, it's a polka dot purse. Let's discover the little sister. Let's open this blind bag very carefully and let's take out our doll. So guys, here we have all of our little sisters so we can transform them into the awesome Super Monsters characters. Each little sister is next to the character that is going to be transformed into. We'll model the hair, paint the outfit and create all of the details so they look awesome. I promise it's going to be super super fun, so let's begin! <laughs> We are going to start with Zoe. First, we need to cut off the pigtails from our little sister. Do it very carefully. And then we are going to add a piece of foam on the head so we can start modeling the hair. We are going to cover all of the hair, including the bangs. And now, to create Zoe's colorful dreadlocks, we are going to attach foam strips on the head just like this. We are following the hairline. With other foam strips, we are going to twist them like this so we can attach them on the back part of the hair little by little. This way the dreadlocks are going to look amazing. Zoe's skin is a bright blue color. She is the cutest zombie ever. We put a small coat of glue on the eyes so we don't have to worry about painting them. We peel off the glue to free the eyes and now we are going to start painting the hair. The first color we are going to use is a light purple. And the second color for the hair is this bright pink. The next color is orange. Zoe's hair is so so cute. Now we are going to paint the next one with this bright blue color. We are going to follow this order to complete the whole head. Purple, pink, orange and blue. And for the back part of the hair, we are going to start painting the first section of each ponytail with yellow. The next stripe of the pigtails is going to be blue. Now we are going to use this bright orange for the next part of the hair. We are going to use this cute pink color for the next part of the hair. Just like this. The next color is purple. It's the same purple we use for the front part. To create the outfit, the first thing we are going to do is to paint the body with a bright yellow. Don't paint the arms and legs. Now, we are going to draw a belt using this bright pink color. And now, we are going to add small dots all over her outfit with the same pink we used before. We are also going to add blue dots all over the outfit. The cute outfit with some purple dots too, so let's add them. And finally, we are going to add orange dots. With the help of a thin brush and pink paint, we are going to add the bracelets and the neck piece. And for the shoes, we are going to paint the feet with this cute purple color. And finally, we need the little sister's eye to match with Zoe's eyes, so we'll use this neon green. We are going to add a coat of clear nail polish on the eyes to give them a bright look. <laughs> Zoe is ready! Zoe. Zoe is the most adorable zombie ever! She used to be very, very shy, but with the help of all of her new friends, she eventually becomes more confident about herself and she also loves to share her painting with everybody! Zoe looks amazing as a little sister! I love her hair! Now it's time to use our cute little honey bun to transform her into Lobo. We are going to add a piece of foam on her head and we'll start modeling Lobo's crazy hair. After the hair looks good, we are going to add the wolf ears on each side of the head just like this. After we pat a layer of glue on the eyes, we are going to start painting all of the face, body and hair with this dark brown color. We are going to add some small details in pink on the ears, just like this. 
we are going to add highlights to the hair using this beige paint. We'll add them just on the hair tips and then we'll fade them away a little bit. To create the outfit, we are going to paint the shirt with white. We are going to do it with short sleeves. Now, we are going to create a vest by painting the sides of the shirt with a bright green color. We also need to paint the eye with green so they match with Lobo's eyes. He is looking ferocious! With the help of this modeling tool, we are going to draw a small wolf mouth, just like this one! Lobo needs some fangs, so very carefully add them on the mouth. Finally, let's add a coat of clear nail polish on the eyes to give it a bright look. Lobo is ready to play! Lobo! He is the most amazing and funny werewolf ever! He is always full of energy and funny tricks! I'm sure anybody will feel happy if they had a friend like Lobo! He looks amazing and so fluffy! Good job with this transformation, guys! Now, we are going to use our little teacher's pet for Katya! First, we are going to cut off the hair buns and cover the holes with a piece of blue tape! Now, we are going to add a piece of foam on the head and we'll start modeling Katya's hair little by little! The hair looks super cute! Now, we'll add texture to it with the help of this modeling tool! Remember to follow the hairline so it ends up looking super super good! After the foam is dry, we are going to start creating the hat! We'll add a piece of foam and we'll model it into a witch hat! And now, after we pat glue on the eyes, we are going to start painting the skin with this blue color! Cover all of the face and body really really good! And for the dress, we are going to use a darker shade of blue! Create short sleeves and don't paint the legs just yet! With this metallic blue, we'll paint all of the witch head! Make sure to not leave any spots unpainted! And now, we'll add details in yellow to simulate the stars on the outfit and also on the hat! To create the hat ribbon, we are going to draw a straight line using this pink color! Remember that the hat is a witch's most precious item, so we'll do it super super good! We'll also draw a belt on the outfit! Katia's hair is a bright yellow, so we are going to cover it really really good, making sure that we don't leave any spots unpainted! We need to add highlights to the hair! For that, we are using this metallic yellow and carefully we'll add lines all over the bottom part of the hair and bangs! And now, we'll also add pink highlights on the bangs and also on the hair! We are going to paint the bottom part of the witch hat with this shiny purple to add dimension and contrast to this transformation! To finish the hat, we are going to add a cute half moon on the ribbon, just like this! Make sure it ends up looking super good! And for the shoes, we are going to use the same purple we have been using, cover the feet really really good! And finally, we are going to add a coat of clear nail polish on the eyes to give them a bright look! <laughs> Katya looks so magical! Katya. She has the most amazing spells and potions, so you will never get bored around her! She is super sweet and adorable all of the time! I really like how she looks! Her outfit looks amazing! This transformation is so magical too! It's time to transform our cute little fresh into Frankie! We need to cut all of the tiny hair buns. We need to cut all of them! And then, we are going to cover the head with a piece of foam and add small strips on the head! And now, we'll paint the skin with this dark green color, cover all of the body and face! When the foam is dry, we are going to paint the hair with this dark brown color! And for the outfit, we are going to paint the body with blue and then we'll paint the middle part with green to simulate the belt he has! Frankie needs his iconic unibrow, so with this super thin brush we'll draw it very carefully! And also, we are going to draw the stitches Frankie has on his forehead! And finally, we will add the coat of clear nail polish on the eyes to give them a bright look! <laughs> Frankie is here! He is ready to mash it up! Frankie! Frankie!
Pinky is an innocent little monster who always tries to bring a smile to his friends' faces. We love Frankie so, so much because he is the sweetest monster ever. I love how this transformation looks. We did a super awesome job. Okay, now it's time for drag. For that, we'll use little doll face. We will cut off the ponytail so we can start creating the hair. We will cover the hole with a piece of blue tape and then we are going to attach a piece of foam and little by little we'll model it into Drax's hair. The hair looks good so far, but we are going to add texture with the help of this modeling stick. We added glue on the eyes and then we are going to paint the skin with this mix of purple, gray and white. Cover the face and body really good. And now when the foam is dry, we are going to paint the hair with black. It's time to create the outfit. First, we'll paint the shirt with white. This one has long sleeves. And now, the rest of the outfit is going to be blue. Paint the chest, diaper and legs. Now, with the help of a thin brush, we'll draw three lines. And now, we are drawing purple bracelets. And now, very carefully, we are going to draw the eyebrows with black. Now let's paint the bow tie with red. And now we need to paint the eyes so they match Drax's eyes. We are going to use this bright blue color. We are going to add a coat of clear nail polish to give the eyes a bright look. With a small piece of foam, we are going to model a small cape little by little. It has to look like a vampire cape. When the cape is drawn and dry, we are going to paint the back part red. And the front part of the cape is going to be blue. Cover it really, really good. The cool drag is ready. He is the best little vampire in the world. He is always having fun flying or turning into a bat. Everybody admires him because he is so cool and brave. He learned how to dance his own way. He looks amazing. I love this transformation. And finally, we'll use the sweet little bun bun to transform her into Cleo. We'll cut the hair buns first. Bye bye hair buns! We'll cover the holes with a piece of blue tape. And then, we'll add a piece of foam so we can start modeling her hair. With the help of this modeling tool, we are going to create the bangs just like this. Remove the foam excess of her face too. And now, we are going to add details on the hair like texture and dimension. To create the headpiece, we are going to wrap a small foam strip around the head and then we'll attach it really good. With a small foam strip, we are going to create the detail of the headpiece, just like this, and then we'll add it on the doll. We also model this small piece that looks like a flower petal and we'll glue it on top of the sword we just glued before. When the foam is dry, we are going to paint the hair with black. Make sure to cover it really, really good. And for the head piece, we are going to paint a small part with golden, then another stripe with blue and so on until it's all covered. Now, to create her mummy outfit, we are going to paint the whole body with white, but we won't paint the hands. To create the bandages, we are going to draw fine lines all over the legs just like this. We are also going to add them on the arms and chest. And now we'll paint the neck and diaper with this super bright red color. Now we'll add small yellow dots on the neck and the diaper. We'll add details with black to create a snack face. It's going to look super, super cute. Cleo's eyes are brown, so we need to paint them so they can look as awesome as hers. Be careful while painting them. And finally, we are going to add a coat of clear nail polish on the eyes to give her a bright look. Cleo also needs a cape, so let's model it using a small piece of foam just like this one. When the cape is dry, we are going to paint the back part using this golden paint. It's going to look super fancy. And to finish the cape, we are going to add horizontal lines with blue paint. The front part of the cape is going to be red, so make sure to cover it really, really good. The 
Queen of Egypt is ready! Cleo! Cleo looks super beautiful and I bet she thinks so as well! She is an elegant and smart monster and she is always well aware of that! She looks amazing and fancy! This transformation looks super awesome too! Okay guys, here's all of today's transformations! They all look so adorable! We have Frankie here and also the funny Lobo! And look, here's also Zoe and Drek! Also Katya and the beautiful Cleo! They all look fantastic as little sisters! Please give us a like and leave us a comment down below telling us who is your favorite super monster! Also, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our next transformations! We love you so 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 much! Thanks for watching Toy Transformations! See you soon! Bye bye bye!